Well, and police are searching for a gunman after a triple shooting left a father dead and his six-year-old son and another man critically injured in southwest Philadelphia. Eyewitness News reporter Jen Carabeo is live this morning at police headquarters with the latest details in this case. Yet another night of deadly gun violence. Jen, good morning. Janelle, good morning. And that six-year-old little boy is still in the hospital this morning in critical but stable condition after undergoing treatment and surgery last night. He was just one out of three people who were shot in a hail of gunfire in southwest Philadelphia. That child's 28-year-old father was shot and killed. A 30-year-old man was also shot and injured. Here's where it all happened. Let's take you to this scene right now, to video. This all happened just after 7 o'clock last night near South 53rd Street and Angora Terrace. Police say those two men and that six-year-old boy were sitting in a parked car when someone opened fire, shooting at least 12 times. The 28-year-old man who was in the driver's seat was shot twice in the chest. Police say he tried to drive away but crashed into several parked cars. Meantime, that man's six-year-old son was shot in his back and stomach, and a 30-year-old man was shot once in the chest. Police say he was able to get away and flagged down police two blocks from the shooting scene at 53rd and Baltimore Avenue. Now, all three victims were taken to the hospital, and that's where the 28-year-old man was pronounced dead. Police are now searching for the gunman as well as the motive for this attack. Police Commissioner Danielle Outlaw says it's unclear if the gunman knew there was a child in that car, and she says she's fed up with responding to scenes just like this one. Just, you know, a couple days ago, we saw a nine year old shot. Fortunately, the nine year old was only shot in the knee. Um, but we, we all got to do better with ensuring that our most vulnerable, including our young people, are safe. And this includes uh, our adults, uh, ensuring that our young people in our care and trusted in our care are safe. And that's not just those who are parents or, or family members uh, that have young people with them, but those who are committing these acts of violence. It just sickens me. It sickens all of us, and we're tired of seeing this, quite frankly. Again, no arrests have been made. Police are now looking for surveillance video. They are also interviewing eyewitnesses that may be able to help. Police do believe the gunmen were in a white color vehicle with heavily tinted windows. Anyone with information is asked to contact police. We are reporting live outside Philadelphia Police Headquarters. Jane Carabello, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Back into you. Thank you, Jan.